So today we are going to talk about zone cleaning and zone cleaning fundamentals. Uh, zone cleaning was the strategy that helped me finally start tackling some of those decluttering and organizing projects around the home. I used to walk around my home and see all the stuff that needed to get done and I used to feel like overwhelmed by it and I would be like, oh, I'll get to it later, I'll get to it later. And then like years and months ago, by and stuff wasn't getting done. And it wasn't until I implemented a system of zone cleaning, which I'm going to break all the way down for you today, that I started to feel not so overwhelmed by those projects and stuff started getting done around the home. So I want to talk to you guys about that, how to set up a system like that in your home and uh, some different strategies to go about it. I know that sometimes people know about doing zone cleaning but the way that they learned about it may feel overwhelming. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of strategies that you could try that may work for your life or feel uh, less overwhelming. And so um, that's what we're gonna talk about that today. But before we begin, my name is Lede and I'm the creator of this channel, The Peaceful Homekeeping Channel. And on this channel, I like to coach, empower, and train women on how to pretty much take back control of their home and home management. Um, I'm a mom of four and I'm pretty busy and sometimes it's very easy for life to feel like crazy and chaotic and there's a time where I felt like I was chronically on the struggle boat and then I got my systems together and that's what I like to teach on this channel is just systems that have really worked and changed the game for me. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you're into like real mom survival strategies, I don't even want to say survival. This is like thriving strategies. Then make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can have more, you know? So today's video is actually a part of some training that I'm doing for some of my ladies who are in my coaching program. Uh, we're going to be talking about decluttering and organizing and kind of getting into the nitty gritty of that. But um, before we do, I wanted to make sure that we all, not just them, but everybody, we're all on the same page and we all have the fundamentals of uh, zone cleaning because I think a lot of people can take this information, especially once they learn about some tweaks and modifications and run with it. But um, pretty much in my coaching program, I feel like we need to get some to some deeper issues. So I just, this is like something that I feel like I want you guys to be prepared for and to know just in case you decide that you ever want to like work with me or whatever in the future. So. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What is zone cleaning and how is it going to help us pull our home together? How is it gonna help us feel less overwhelmed? So for me, I don't know about you guys, but when I was thinking about all the projects and stuff like that that needed to get done, I would feel overwhelmed because a piece of me was like, oh, I don't know where to start. Another piece of me just, I felt like I was looking at the house as one big unit and so zone cleaning has really helped me because it kind of takes me out of that mindset of looking at my house as one big unit, but instead breaking my home into smaller manageable sections. And then um, you know what section you're in based off of the calendar month. So whatever week we are in the month, that's how you know where you should be putting your attention. So for me, it just helps kind of make those decisions for me. Like this is the area that I'm going to be working in. And um, it also helps me have prevent neglected areas. Uh, one thing that I used to do when I was starting a project is feel like, okay, I need to work in this room until so this room is done. If I got like any hangups or hiccups or that room didn't progress the way that I thought it should, like I could literally be kind of mentally keeping myself trapped in that one area. And so um, zone cleaning, oh yeah. I would keep myself trapped in that one area and feel like I couldn't move on to other things until the pantry was beautiful or until the kitchen was fully decluttered or until this project was complete. And so zone cleaning kind of helped pull me out of that because it kind of put a little sense of urgency under me. You have a week to do the projects that you want to get done in this particular zone. And then once you're done with this zone, we're moving on to another zone. And so the idea is not to finish the space, but to just evenly rotate throughout the home. I was listening to... I think it was Fly Lady or one of her people that she used to work with and they were talking about where they got the idea from and basically they said that she said that it was from a gardener who kept their garden really pretty and just really well maintained and she asked him how did he do such a good job with that and his response was that he breaks it into sections 
and he literally just gives each section really detailed focus attention before he moves into the next section. And so basically that allowed him to have like an even um, well cared for garden. So basically we're taking that concept and applying it to our homes. Okay. So um, I talked about the benefits that you get from it. For me, like I mentioned, it helped me rotate around my home. It cut out a lot of the overwhelm. And um, I just felt like things started finally getting done. So I want to talk about how to break your home into sections and how to know what section you're supposed to be working on. So um, you guys, this is a system that I learned from the Fly Lady system. So that's the way that I like to teach it because um, I really like the way that they set it up or that she set it up. And so um, basically, you know that you are in the first zone of the month when you land on the first Okay, so this is a calendar for the month of January. I'm going to circle the first. So pretty much all of these days back here were in December. So everything before the first of the month, that was zone five. And by the way, they're five zones, right? So if for this particular month, we would spend one day in zone one. For me, I, I only zone clean Monday through Friday. So that's how that would go, right? So that's the first line on the first of the month, boom, zone one, okay? Then you move down to the second week of the month. So all of this would be zone two. And zone two gets a full week. We move down here to zone three. Zone three also gets a complete week and then we We'll move down here to zone four. Zone four also gets a complete week. And then zone five. So typically what will happen is zone five usually does not get a complete five days. Usually during zone five, when we get to the first of the following month, we end zone five and start zone one. That's typically what would happen. However, for my little calendar, that is not the case for this particular week. Every once in a while, you get a week where you get a full week of zone five. So, um, zone five. So basically, the zone five ends when the month ends. Zone one starts when the new month starts. So it's very common for zone five and zone one to overlap, and that's okay because we're going to explain what each zone is. Zone one is your entryway. So that's why it's okay for that zone to be a little shorter because most people keep their entryways kind of guest ready or it's easier to make guests ready. So that's your entryway. Zone two is your kitchen. Zone three is your kid room, kids rooms and like extra bedrooms. Zone four is your master guest room or master bedroom suite, sorry. And zone five is your living room, which is why it's okay for zone five to be short because once again, it's a public area and most people tend to keep those areas um, a little tidier because it's difficult to put behind closed doors, okay? And so um, now I know that I read off what we should be working on in each zone, but sometimes your home may be bigger than what these zones reflect. And if, it's a, if it is bigger, it's okay. Just make sure that each room in your home is assigned to a zone and you should be good to go. So for me, I have that zone three with my kids' rooms, my kids' bathroom, I have an office, and all of my guest rooms are in zone three. And it's okay because believe it or not, if you're consistent with zone cleaning, you will finish, you know, your kids' room. And then you'll be like, what do I do next? And so you know, the next month you in zone three, you may want to move to a guest room and one day you will finish that guest room and then you're gonna be like, what do I do next? So just go with it. Um, eventually things start to get done. OK. So I taught you guys how to know what zone you're in. We talked about why zone five and zone one are short. And so what can you be working on when you are zone cleaning? I'm glad you asked. So the most important thing that you can do, especially if you're just starting, you're trying to get your home systems and stuff in order and trying to get things set up is decluttering, getting rid of things that are not for the season of your life. 
and putting it into a donation box, taking it where it goes, putting it into the trash can, like getting stuff out of the space. That's the most important thing you can do. Next, you may want to start organizing. And by organizing, for me, I keep it very simple, grouping like things together, deciding how you want to contain them, and then putting it back, or deciding how you want to arrange it after that. And then you may also want to consider deep cleaning. So this is where a good time to pull out all those deep cleaning checklists, or maybe you just see stuff in the room that you know needs to be deep cleaned. So a rule that I have for myself is that even if the room looks like it's complete, like there's nothing else that I could be working on, I always challenge myself to find at least one thing that I can improve in this space. And that's how I started seeing some of the deeper cleaning issues that I needed to work on in my home, but it's okay to draw inspiration. Okay, so let's talk about, um, okay, so let's talk about time, how much time it will take to get this done and time commitments. Okay, so for me, this is what I like to do and it's worked pretty well for me. I commit to zone cleaning at least three times a week and I work on it 15 minutes per session and I try not to go over that 15 minutes. And so, um, that's a total of 45 minutes a week in each zone, okay? And so what some people like to do in my group, we have a lot of moms who work outside the home and they have like other obligations. And so for them, you know, for some people, 15 minutes can seem like too much. So we also have where you can do 10 minutes, but do it four times a week. That way you're still getting 40 minutes of zone cleaning. And then I had some moms that were super duper extreme, extremely busy, but they found a lot of success in doing something that I call a five minute miracle. So that is when you just do something in the space for five minutes, even if that's just cleaning one drawer, working on one cabinet, working on one surface, taking out just trash, pulling out, you know, all the pencils, find one specific area or one specific focus and just do something about it for five minutes. You would be surprised over what you can get done while you're waiting for a burrito to heat up in the microwave. I'm just saying. And the most important thing is that you use that time because what most people do is they are like, oh, I have five minutes and they just get pick up their phone or get on Instagram, which there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Because I do that. But um, if you commit to a zone cleaning goal, you can just be like, well, while I'm waiting for this food to simmer, while I'm waiting for this to bake, I'm going to open up this drawer, go through it, and pull out all the clutter, and at least that drawer is done. And then you just do that for five days. And it's not up to the 40 minutes, which I like, but that is 25 minutes. That is something, and it is moving the home forward, and it is helping you progress. And so um, a lot of the ladies in my group have had luck motivate, getting themselves motivated to zone clean and to start making dents in their home using the five minute 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 miracles and then maybe using the weekend to do like bigger heavier projects at least we got the ball rolling and at least we got things moving forward so yeah i think that's all i wanted to talk about today um if you feel like this is an area that you need support in i completely understand um sometimes you know decluttering and organizing and things like that can feel quite overwhelming and I feel like zone cleaning is a great way to get started but sometimes it helps to work on this and to do it in a community and with support so I'm I'm gonna leave some information down below for the waiting list for um, my new coaching and accountability group whenever the doors open again um, I would love to be a partner with you on your journey so I will have a waiting list and people who sign up for my late waiting list will basically have the first opportunity to enroll into the next class whenever that opens. And then um, that will be an awesome opportunity to get into the group. So um, in the group, I offer weekly live trainings. You guys will get to train with me on Zoom and we'll talk about a particular issue. And then throughout that week, we'll implement whatever it is that we talk about. I have accountability trackers. So during your training, I'll be holding you accountable, answering questions. You'll be a community. You'll be supported by the other members. And um, so it's really a good time. And 
a lot of moms seem to have success when they have that support and accountability. And so um, it is an eight week program and um, yeah, so make sure that you sign up for the waiting list if you feel like this is something that you would like help with. I would love to be your coach and encourage you and help you get through it. Now, obviously I can't do the work for you. I can't show up for you, but I can do the best that I can to encourage you, empower you, motivate you, and talk you and walk you through it. And along with other people who are also trying to achieve and accomplish the same goal. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Zone cleaning fundamentals. People who are in my training now, I will see you guys on Sunday. We're going to go into it a little bit deeper and start talking about the decluttering and how to do that a little bit deeper. And for the rest of my peoples, I will see you guys next week. Bye.